DSS classroom. Now students, in the last video, we started our chapter that is lesson number 8, water resources. Right? And students, in that we have discussed this water is very important for life. Right? Plants, animals, everyone needs water to survive. Okay? And we have discussed that our earth, three-fourths of our earth is covered with water. But this water is not fit for our domestic and industrial purpose. Right? And also we have discussed that farmers mostly they depend on rain for their growing crop. Yes, students, we discussed that the main source of water is rain. And these farmers, is they depend on rain for their growing crop. But this rain is not throughout the year. Right? So, this, so students, so students, to reduce the dependence on rain, we need irrigation facilities. Right? We have discussed about irrigation facilities. So students, today we will talk about the, as we discussed in the last, that India has the largest irrigation facilities in the world. Now students, let's discuss one by one these irrigation facilities in India. So first students, we will talk about the canals. See here the picture of canals. Now students, these canals are the channels that are dug to draw water from the river to the field. Okay. So what is canals? Canals are the channels that are dug to draw water from the river to the field. Okay. These canals are man-made can. These canals are man-made. So they sometimes called artificial river. Okay, students and students, India has a good network of canals. Canals are very common. Canals, canals are very common, especially in the northern plains. In the state of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, these states, they, they commonly use these canals. Okay? Now students will see some important canals in India. They are Indra Gandhi Canal, Agra Canal, Sirjit Canal, Upper Ganga Canal, Yamuna Canal, etc. Okay students, so this we discuss about the canals. Now, Let's discuss about the wells and tube wells. Discuss about the wells and tube wells. Now, students, irrigation through wells is. Now, students, irrigation through well is suitable for small farm. In villages, in villages, people dig wells to draw underground water to the surface. Right? And the water is drawn off with the help of Persian wind. You can see here in the image. So this water is used for household activities and for irrigating fields. Okay students? But students, many times this underground water is very deep. We cannot reach it by big well. So in such cases, these tube wells are fitted. You can see here the picture of tube well. Now this tube well, it is a kind of well which pump are installed. And these pump run on electricity and diesels. Okay students, I hope students you have understood till here. Now students, so students, these tube wells are widely used for irrigation in Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat.
गुजरात एंड महाराष्ट्र ओके आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द वेल्स एंड ट्यूब वेल्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टैंक नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द टैंक्स ओके नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन द सदर्न प्लेटो इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू डी वेल्स right it is difficult to dig the underground water why it is difficult because the land is very hard rock right because the land surface is very hard rock and that so what happened this people what they do they collect the rain water in tanks and ponds so students these tanks are commonly used in the southern plateau right in the state of tamil nadu andhra pradesh karnataka etc these tanks and ponds are commonly used for the agriculture and for other purpose right students in towns and cities people get water through tap and pipeline students in the village people get water through wells and tanks okay i hope students you have understood about the tanks now in the next video students will discuss about the dams and the uses of dam by the time students what you are going to do you have to read the textbook and underline the important point now students take your water resources second channels third irrigation fourth network fifth underground sixth hard rocks seventh bore so these all new words you have to copy down in your notebook 